is going on guys? My name is Bryce Till. Welcome to my outdoor channel. So I was walking around Bass Pro Shop the other day and I happened to find myself in the soft plastic section. I was looking at a lot of baits and noticed a lot of baits had salt and there were quite a few baits that had garlic scent. So I have warm salt, I have garlic scent, and then I thought, I wonder what would happen if I added garlic salt to a bait. So I've never done this before. I have no idea how these baits are gonna turn out, but I wanted to give it a try and just see if it works. So stay tuned, see what happens. All right, we got one cup of Dead on Plastics Worm Blend, and we're gonna be making a basic color, one that I really like to use, called Watermelon Red. So we're gonna start with Lure Works Watermelon 101. A little bit of small black flake. A whole scoop of medium black flake. And it wouldn't be watermelon red without some little red flake in there. That's looking pretty good. So now we get to add the key ingredient, the garlic salt. And um, with Dead on Plastic Worm Blend, you really don't have to add salt to get it to sink. It actually sinks really well without it. Um, and rule of thumb with other plastics that I've used in the past, the general rule of thumb is two uh, tablespoons of salt per one cup of uh, of plastic but with this I'm thinking probably one tablespoon and we'll see what happens with that all right so one tablespoon of garlic salt You always want to add your salt slowly so that it doesn't clump up. And it'll all settle at the bottom if you just dump it all in there. There we go. Get that all stirred in there. All right, that actually mixed in there pretty well. So probably need to heat this up and then we'll shoot our first bait all right so I'm shooting that angling AI core shot mold I just took the rods out because whenever I added the salt to this like adding warm salt to any uh, plastic that you're making it's going to make the color cloudy and because of that uh, you probably wouldn't be able to see the the core color anyways and so this is just going to be a solid uh, five inch stick bait. And um, another thing that I did notice was whenever I added this garlic salt, it put a lot of moisture in the plastisol. So I degassed it and heated it back up before I shot it. And uh, that's one thing you have to kind of be aware of when you're adding salt to any of your plastics is it's going to make the color cloudy and it's probably gonna add moisture to your um, to your bait so having a uh, degasser is a handy tool and um, yeah so let's see how these baits turn out all right let's see what we got let's find get it open there we go all right 
there you go watermelon red stick baits with garlic salt i've got a little bit more plastic so i think i'm gonna shoot a different mold with this and then we'll make another color This is the Bass Tackle 7 inch ribbon tail worm. I think this color makes a really good ribbon tail. I've caught a lot of bass with a watermelon red ribbon tail. Alright, let's see how those turn out. All right, so some seven inch ribbon tails. Looks like everything filled out like it should. Let's see what some of these look like. So there you go, seven inch ribbon tails. All right, let's make the next color. All right, so for this next color, it's one that I call Junebug Candy. And again, we're gonna start with a cup of Dead On Worm Blend, and then this is Lure Works Black Grape. There we go. Yeah. And then if I was making regular June bug, I would just put green flake in. So you got to have green flake if you're making June bug. But I like to add, a, oh, I just spilled glitter everywhere. I like to add a little purple flake and a lot of turquoise flake. And I call this color June bug candy. Then we got to add the garlic salt because that's what we're doing today. We're adding garlic salt to soft plastics. So there's a tablespoon of garlic salt. Definitely put a, you can tell there's moisture in that because you can see the bubbles. So I'm going to degas it, heat it back up, and then we'll shoot some more baits. Don't fumble with your glitters. Oh no, so, it's so pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. So now that's okay. I get to order more glitter, but I'll get this cleaned up and then we'll shoot these baits. All right, so I got all that glitter cleaned up. I've got the plastic degassed and heated up, so I'm ready to shoot this and see what this looks like. bit of pressure come on let me have it top it off all right let's see how these look all right so let's see how these turn down get off there there we go okay so 
that is Junebug Candy. All right, so I went ahead and shot the ribbon tails off camera. Yeah. All right, so that is seven inch Junebug Candy ribbon tails with garlic salt added. Yeah. All right, so there's a look at everything. We have five stick baits in the watermelon red, five in the June bug candy, and then eight seven inch curly tails in the watermelon red, and eight seven inch curly tails in the June bug candy. So there you have it, guys. It worked. You can use garlic salt in your soft plastic lures. Why you'd want to, not really sure, but like I said, I saw all the baits at Bass Pro that had garlic and salt added, and I just thought, skip the middleman and just add garlic salt. So it definitely works. I'm going to take these lures out and go fishing with them, and I will try to make a video of that, so hopefully I do catch some fish. But if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.